Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to JJ's PC Builds. And you know it is JJ with you once again. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do. Help and support the channel. Today is the day for graphics card nightmares right here on JJ's PC Builds. So... We kind of we're kind of doing we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna add another um, spot to the lineup. We decided to add um, well, I actually I decided to add Jawa to the the mix. So now we're gonna be seeing Amazon, Newegg, eBay, Micro Center, and Jawa. So. I'm thinking about maybe once every month or two add like not to make it big, 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 but for the next for the next six months, probably just add slowly in um, new places where you can buy graphics cards. So this way y'all can see the pricing on those sites as well. And if you got any uh, suggestions on the best sites to go to to buy graphics cards, be more than happy on the on the description down below on this video to leave your comments to let me know what you think would be the best. So this way I can take and tally up and see what you all think on that. I will be doing a poll on it too, so just to find out which... Of the best sites is going to be, you know, which which best site is to go to for, you know, to buy graphics cards. Even if it's good or bad, because this is graphics card nightmares. Do remember that. It's got to have its ups and it's got to have its downs. So keep that in mind. Most of your sites do. Most of them got your up and down, so... What we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the action screen and then get on it with DuckDuckGo. So here we go. And we made it to the action screen. So we're going to go ahead and flip right to Amazon. I just, I kind of set up these today to make this a little bit more quicker. So what we're so that way we can get through it because now we got an extra one on there. I'm not I'm gonna give you my thoughts at the end, but I'm just gonna be looking through the prices today of what's going on. Now do remember with there's a I'm gonna save it for another video because the 580, there's a little bit more controversy going on with the 580, but we're going to move on and just say that we've seen it and kind of ignore it a little bit. Um, let's see. 3060, 3060, 289. You got the 6600, which is not a bad deal. A lot of people are still talking about the 6600 being viable as um a gaming graphics card so yeah it's kind of it's kind of teetering down there you know because if you get the 6600 at 189 and then 100 bucks more you get the 3060 you know i mean for the 100 bucks more i would go with the 3060 over the 6600 it's just my opinion so let's see um, 3050, I'm not even going to look at because y'all know my impression of the 3050. They're not doing anything that makes it any better. You know, truthfully, they're not. So the 4060 Ti, 8 gigabytes, 409. See, th that's the thing. The 8 gigabyte version is 409, right? And the 16 gigabyte version is... 500 was it 499 uh it's not it's not really clicking with me now 99.99 99, 
I don't know who this manufacturer is, so um, or the seller. I don't know who that is. So 590 GME GDR5 2304 SP. That sounds like it's pretty original. So usually your uh, your uh, 40 or your um, 580 is 2304 SP. So to be a 590, they must have did some modifications on the chip. So um, that's just that's just in name. It's still the 580. If it's the original 580, then it's a different different story, you know. But 4060 OC 389. I like I said. I'm. I mean. I can't see paying $390 for a 4060 compared to the 4070. I really can't. Um, 2048SP, 94, eh, not looking at that. 1660 Super, nah, ain't looking at that. You know, it seems that, you know... The 4060 and the 4060 Ti is not something I would consider that's viable, but I can't see them pushing the Asus Tough for 649. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, another nightmare, especially when I got mine at MSRP, and then I notice other people are getting it like at $550 and getting a game. That's kind of, you know, crappy. Putting that kind of price on it. Um, 2066 gigabytes for 230? No. Uh, that, come on. I mean, t the 20 series, really? 20 series should be down, down below 200 bucks. It should be like at 175, 180. But, you know, that's their pricing. You know, 54, <laughs> 710, 2 gigabytes. That should be more or less like 10 bucks. So, another nightmare for you. Um, let's just get through this really quick. Um, 16. I'm not even going to look at 1660 Supers. 7,600. You know, I don't know. Eight lanes, I don't know. I really I really can't recommend that one. The 7600, it's the 7000 series and AMD. You know, good starter card, yes. But as far as, far as game playing, yeah, you can do that as well. So, okay. So we made it to the end of Amazon. We've seen a couple nightmares. We've seen maybe one good one out of the whole bunch. Let's go to Newegg. Let's go to Newegg. Let's see. $3,000. $3,000 for the 4090, 24 gigabyte. Looks like, looks like the original. $2,300. Wow. $300 bucks for a 6,700. And one hundred thirty-nine dollars more for a sixty-eight hundred. You gotta be kidding me! I mean, get out of here with that. I mean, prices look like they're starting to rise. Like I told you all, the prices are going to start rising sooner or later. So do expect them to rise. Even though that it's a holiday, they they raise them up just for when they have like those Black Friday deals and uh, Cyber Monday deals. No, nobody, you know, from what I'm hearing and re what they were telling me, a lot of my friends over there in Florida were telling me not a lot of people went to the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. The stores were pretty much blank. More of your deals were done online from what I've been hearing, that more of the percentages were done online compared to going to the store. Because the prices at the store were like stupidly priced. And that's what people were telling me. The prices at the stores were stupidly priced. 
So basically, you can buy this one item, like I said, you can buy one item through the year for, let's just say, you can buy a basketball for $1 through the whole year. And when it comes to the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday deals, they pretty much just knocked it down from $1 to 75 cents or 80 cents or 90 cents. They only took like 10 cents off. So that's just an example that they're really not taking much of the price off when it comes to you buying in the store for those deal days. And plus the products that they don't put it out on the shelf now because they're afraid of people stealing. <laughs> it's just crazy. That's the reason why people don't do it anymore. I mean, it's, it's all because of the theft that's going on around and everything else. People getting robbed, you know, at the, at the front of the store, people are afraid to go, you know, because of that, you know, it's just, it's crazy. That's the reason why Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you know, that's going to start fizzling out. You know, I'm just going to be honest with you, it's going to start fizzling out. It's not really worth to go into it anymore. I'll tell you what, back, back in probably 2019, let's just go back there. It was a lot better deals than it is on, at 2023. Now, from 2019 to 2021, 2022, it wasn't bad. Everybody was going out to Black Fridays and Cyber Mondays and so on. Now, 2023, you'll be lucky to get a really good one and something that's going to be viable for the consumer. You know, you're not going to find it anymore. And so far, I'm not really finding any great deals here on Newegg as well. And I'm looking, I'm really looking to see if they got any good deals here on uh, Newegg. But all, all I'm doing is seeing the prices and they're looking about almost the same. You know, I mean, they got a coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. You know, I mean, you don't have it right now, then they're a problem. So, you got one here, the 7800 XT, temporarily out because of the high demand of the product. Well, it tells you how everybody's mind is, is that they're looking to buy the 7800 XT. So, let's move on to e-waste, I mean eBay. And look at all the graphics cards they got. You know, the ones that people pick out of the trash. So, that's pretty much the way I look at it. When you're selling used, you're picking it out of the trash. So, don't be mad at me when I say that. I'm not trying to, to make you mad or anything else. I'm just telling you. When you're selling somebody a garbage card for a high price, it's a garbage card. Like the 3078 gigabytes right here. Dual OC. Okay. For $319. With a one-year warranty? Really? Factory comes with two-year warranty. Basic. So this right here? Yeah, hell no. I'd rather buy brand new than used at that point because of the price. So 3060 TI 8 gigabyte for 249. I'd rather buy it new. R7 250. Eh. That depends on if you want to go old school. I mean, that's two gigabyte card. I don't think anybody would be buying a two gigabyte card. Not unless you, you're collecting your cards. And that's a different story. Oh, that, that card right there is an ugly one. The 1080 Ti 11 gigabyte turbo card. I would be finding a different case for that one. Especially it's an eBay refurbished. Um, for 200 bucks. And 
I can't see paying 200 bucks for that card. Sorry. It's not new enough to me for me to even think about buying it. Um, and I hope you all understand that my opinion about certain things, it's my opinion and I'm going to give it. So you can take it with a grain of salt or you could take it like gold. So 575 for 4070 12 gigabytes. Graphics card new, brand new, 575. Well, now when you can buy them 550 and you can get them with the game, I don't think I don't think, you know, trying to get $25 out of uh somebody plus an additional 50 you know, because look at it this way. If you could buy it for 550 bucks on a different website and you get a game with it, that makes it down to 500 bucks. So you get a $500 graphics card. This person here is trying to make $75 more. I mean, really? You're trying to sell something new for a price and make a $75 profit. Okay. Well, no, it's not happening with me, man. I'm going to overlook that because for the simple fact, it, if it doesn't have the the plastic wrapped around it, the original plastic, then that's something I would kind of, you know, stick my nose up at. So if that said 4070 Ti, then maybe that 575 would be a lot better, but it doesn't. So I'm sticking my nose up to it. I mean, even the A770 right here, 8 gigabyte, 189 bucks. No, hell no. 248, 60 bucks. No. I see these sellers all over the place. They're just, they're just sellers of China of the garbage that they got over there. The old, see, if I really wanted to buy a GPU with a new PCB and a used uh, processor, I would take and go over and order to, from China myself if I wanted that. But I want something with a fresh, brand new processor with a fresh, brand new PCB. And there's no way, you know, that would happen with me. Of You know, I already bought from China once. And it was, it, I'm going to tell you, it was a miserable, miserable, I had a miserable time. Especially having to wait as much time as I had to wait for it to be delivered to my house. And then on top of it, I ordered two, two items from them. One of them got returned in shipping for some apparent reason. And I got the other one. So I was supposed to get two, two items. Uh, two uh, big items from them and I only got one and the other one got returned for some stupid reason and you know they I was lucky to get my money back because I had to fight them for my money so it's a disaster that's the reason why I won't AliExpress you need to change a couple things how your ordering system goes on your site I'm not going to bash you, but when it takes almost a month to two months to get your stuff from over there is ridiculous. That is a ridiculous thing, especially when I can get it over here, probably for less of the, less of the price and get it within three days. Now, if it takes me three, two to three months to get stuff from your site, I'm not recommending you whatsoever. So you need to get on whoever the sellers are and tell them, look, you need to get the items over here ASAP within a certain amount of time. You need to cut them, tell them there's a time frame, you know. Instead of pissing off the consumers, and that's pretty much what they're doing over there is pissing off the consumers. So, especially if I got to fight to get whatever I ordered, and on top of it, I got to fight to get my money back if you don't deliver. It's ridiculous. Uh, 2060 Super, no. 
3070 for 350 no barely used that's a founder's edition no i'm sorry i'm not i'm not the kind of person that buys the founder's editions is because they're nothing to me i think they're you only you're only buying them because they say founder's edition they sh they give you no no uh perks i think in my books they give you no perks whatsoever. Now, if you buy from an AIB partner like ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, and so on, then at least they boost things up a little bit for you. At least, at least you get a better deal that way. And that's the kind of reason why they kind of, you know, in their market, that they kind of move the price up a little bit for their items is because they do more than the manufacturer, actual manufacturer does. So, but I do give ASUS the credit, even though that they had a couple mishaps on their motherboards, I do give ASUS credit on their graphics cards. Kudos to you for making a great graphics card because I got it right here next to me and it's still rocking in my PC. So that's what I look at. Let's see. Oh, 3060 Ti, $300. Refurbished. One year warranty, fast ship. Oh, well, that's if you're looking for an eight gigabyte. It's an OC card with the one year warranty refurbished. Eh. I'm not I'm not hip on refurbished. This is says bad fans GTX 1070 Zodiac mini eight gigabytes. Looks like you got many cards sitting on that table, but you might get one out of the many. Not unless it comes as a package deal for that price. You know. Forty eighty for a thousand bucks. Uh Well, a thousand fifty bucks, sixty-seven fifty, twelve XT, twelve gigabytes. You know that might, well, try like three hundred bucks, because they're with shipping and everything else. I don't know, but anyway, we got through eBay. I know I was giving my opinion. Let's go to Micro Center and see what they got cooking. Uh, as far as um, they got one item to ship, it's probably not going to be great, so we're not going to look there today. But we are going to look here: forty seventy Ti for eight hundred bucks. Okay, five forty nine. Okay, this get get PC Game Pass and GeForce Now priority with GeForce selected RTX forty series. 549 RTX 4070. It's the three fans. For store pickup, 550 bucks. That looks like it's got a couple cookers with it. But for 599, get a 6950 XT. 599. For 50 bucks more. Is it a good one? Yes. Is it something that's viable for the next two years? Yes. Um, will it last five years? It's kind of hard to say that because, you know, you never know. This is, this is a, a last-gen card. I mean, last-gen cards usually will last four to five, six years. But, you know, if you're looking at the card and it's already got three years on it, then you're only looking at a couple more years. So, usually it's a five-year rule with graphics cards. You know, you go five years and boom, you're switching it out. But you'll get about two more years off of it for 600 bucks. I mean, that's just my opinion on it. Um, Unless you're waiting for the the next generation to come out, then, you know, let's see what 2024 has happened. If you're going to be sitting around waiting for uh, 
new graphics cards coming out and everything else. Might as well just sit and wait and see what 2024 has to offer. You know, that's up to you. Depends on what you want to do. They got the 7800 XT for what? 539? Wow. Okay. Uh, it's got 16 gigabytes. I can see it running equal with the 4070. You know, but as far as heavy ray tracing and all that, you know, the 4070 is there, but for rasterization and everything, you know, the, the lighter stuff in life, then the 7800 XT will be for you. But I'm using the 4070, so I plan on, I plan on in the future getting a 7800 XT. I do. In the future, when prices come down, then I'll plan on getting it. Um, viable cards this month. They got right here. This is at M MSRP for 500 bucks, 7,800 XT. Um, look at this 4080, $1,650. That's, you know, back a couple months ago, that's about the same price as the 4090. Now look at the 4080. Now everybody's learning that uh, the discontinuance of the 4080 and the 4070 Ti is coming up. And now everybody's jacking their prices up. You know, I mean, it's not smart to do that. You know. I already seen one nightmare today. This is one of them. And this is Micro Center. Micro Center, I'm not bashing you. I'm just saying, you know, people are not going to pay that price. You might advertise it. There might be maybe a one percenter out there that might want to buy it. But, you know, you're going to move it very, very slow to the point to where it's just going to creep itself over the line. You know. To me, it's just creeping itself. And you're putting the, and look at this, 4070, you're putting almost to close to the same price point as the 7900 XT. It's not happening, man. It is not happening. People are not going to pay that kind of price. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. Especially for the performance-wise, I run the 4070, and I can tell you performance-wise, I would not pay anything over what I actually paid. I would not pay anything over $599. Nothing over $599 for the 4070. And if you pay more for that, then you're crazy. Because I would not pay nothing. I wouldn't. I I even questioned myself when I bought it. But for me getting the deals and everything else I got on it, it kind of brought the price way down to where it's set at about around five hundred bucks. So I can't question that. Looking at the pricing and everything else, it brought it down that far, but. Like I said, you know, the 4070, if they put it at a $500 mark, you know, and then the 4070 Ti, they put at a $600 mark. And if they put the 4070 Super at a $550 mark, this is viable. Going $50, $50, $50. $50. But when you're spreading it like going from six to $800, you know, and having like a two to $300 spread, just because you want to put cards in between just trying to sell them, that's kind of cheating the, that's kind of cheating the, the consumer out there. So do think about when you do your pricing, do it very carefully. If you jump 100 to 100 to 100, and then if you want to add new cards into it and then put them in the middle, then just make them $50 more. And then that'll give you enough to where you can take and sway the market back and forth 
if you want to give good deals or whatever. But as far as I'm seeing right now, there's no great deals. It's all nightmares. I mean, when, P when you buy a PC, you want to buy a PC that costs less than everybody has a price point. And usually I'm hearing the price points less than 700 bucks. So when you want to sell a PC less than 700 bucks, you get nothing but now, nothing but garbage. Okay. Now, if you go to, and your, your minimum price point now is sitting right at about 12 to $1,500 for at least something decent because of the high prices and everything else on PC parts. It, you're just you're sitting right in that bracket of twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. Got that fly. So moving on down the road, they got a seventy seven hundred XT for four forty nine. You know I can't really see paying it. I can't see paying five eighty nine for the seventy eight hundred. You know. It's, it's not the matter of me cheapskating it. It's the matter of the consumer and the amount of inflation that's out there being able to afford it. So if you don't configure everything in for inflation and everything else, then you're not really thinking about when you're buying your PC parts. Really think about it when you go to buy it. So... <coughs> and it looks like um, <coughs> looks like um, NVIDIA changed up their promotions now it says get game pass and GeForce now priority select GeForce RTX 40 series I have a problem with that Doing online gaming with GeForce Now, you're not even using the potentials of your 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 graphics card or processor. You're only using like half that to play those games. I don't. I mean, if you get better FPS and everything else, then yeah, that's kind of worth it. But if you're not getting the 100% out of your system and you're only playing at 50, yeah, it prolongs your system. Yeah, you might, you might have a good viable option there. But what if their server goes down? What if, what if you can't get onto GeForce now? You know, where's the problem then? What are you going to do then? You know, doing these online games like Steam and whatever. You know, Steam's not that bad if you're, you know, playing it once in a while, but, you know, not doing it all the time. Not unless you're really heavy into it and then, you know, you're paying like 50 to to $100 per game, you know, which I think is ridiculous. You know, they should be having a bracket between $5 and $25, in my opinion. So, that's the way they charge. That's their site. That's the way they charge. That's their business. But I can tell you, from a consumer point of view, not saying all consumers, I'm just saying me as a consumer, I'm saying, you know, if you put a game that's over $50 to $100 just to get it, it's not worth it to me. Especially if you're going to get like Starfield or, you know, one of these newer, you know, top tier uh, games. They charge you between 50 and 100 bucks. I, I, will, I will stay with the free ones. I'm sorry to be that cheap, but the thing is, is this, those games to me are not that viable. Okay, you have to understand that those games are not that viable to me. In order for me to benchmark and test my system, there are many games out there that are still free that you can do that with. 
So I don't foresee playing, you know, trying to bash my system into the ground just to see if it'll play. That's not how it works. Now, the mid-tier games that they have out there that are free, that, you know, everybody can get on, you know, playing Steam and everything else, you know, those are the games to uh, test out your FPS, you know. There are some games out there you can test your FPS and, you know, and go from there. So, all righty, we made it to the bottom, and let's see what they have at the bottom. Okay, they got a $400 4060 Ti, 8 gigabytes. No, never happening. And they got the 4080 Tough for four, uh, $1,320. Nope, not happening. They got a gaming trio for $1,280. There, it still teeters between $1,200 and $1,300. Okay. Bring the price down of the 4080. Bring it down to 800 bucks, and see how many people would buy the 4080. Bring it down to $800 and see how many people would buy the 4080. That's reasonable price to me. The 4090 should have been at 1000 bucks. The 4080 should have been at 800 bucks. Now the 4080 Super should have been at 900 bucks. If you keep everything down below the $1000 price range, then people won't see it as buying a graphics card when you can buy a whole PC for that price. Okay, when they see it down below a thousand bucks, they can say, okay, well, it's down below a thousand bucks. I can add the PC around it. It might cost me four or five hundred bucks. So now you got a fifteen hundred dollar PC. Like I said, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars is the minimal amount. But when you got a graphics card, if you got the best of the best that's down below a thousand bucks, and you wrap a five hundred dollar system around it, and you get great gameplay and everything else, I mean, where are you going to go wrong with that? I mean, shoot, you can't go wrong with that. Okay, now we're going to take a look over at Jawa. Dot gg they're not a sponsor just to let you know they are not a sponsor i'm doing this on my own to see what they got going good you know because they buy and sell over here they buy your gpus you can sell your gpus on jawa.gg you know and you know let's just have a look and see what they got cooking you know see if there's anything that's good Oh, they got the 4090 at $2,440. They got a 560 at 50 bucks. Let's go back up and make sure we got all the cards. 1070 at 100 bucks. Um, that looks like a, that looks like a, oh, uh, no. Not in my taste buds. Three forty-five for thirty seventy. Um, Forty ninety seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. Um, Thirty eighty Ti for six hundred bucks. Not too bad, but not that great. 2060, 189. Um, they got a Titan for 109. Let's see. Um, 3060 for 300 bucks. Now you can buy a brand new for that. Um, 4070 Ti for $660. Not too shabby. The reason why I'm saying not too shabby is the simple fact it's only, you know, on if you go and look over on the, the eBay and not eBay, and uh, you go over and look at Newegg and uh, Amazon, 
is about almost the same price. But this is a used version compared to a new version. Well, actually, no, it's not. My bad. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of the 4070. The 4070. Okay, I'm going to explain this. The 4070. I can see them having between five and 650 bucks. That's the way they're pricing it right now. For 660 bucks, you can get a 4070 Ti for 10, 10 to 20 bucks more. But it's used. It, I'm sure Java.gg, they test all their graphics cards from what I hear. So they're not going to be sending you garbage. And if they do send you garbage, then there's a problem with that site. So if they do, they do send you garbage from Jawa.gg, leave a comment uh, in this video down in the description below. Leave a comment. Let me know. Because I'd like to know, and so would all the subscribers here. They would love to know that as well. But I'm going to tell you, from what I'm hearing, I'm getting positive notes about Jawa.gg. Go check them out. They're not a sponsor yet. Maybe someday they will be. And if they want to be a sponsor, then they can go to the About section on my main page. And they can email me. So that's where you can email me at. Just to let you know. Any sponsor that wants to sponsor the channel, email me. And then we'll go from there. Then we'll talk on the phone. So. But... Now that we got through all that, this is going to be the final conclusion. All right. I added Jawa.gg on because everybody's talking about it. And, you know, there's giving good ratings and everything about it. And kudos to Jawa for having a great site. Just to let you know. Let me turn this all this stuff off. really quick my bad uh, I, it's just too bright in this room okay now it's not too bright okay so jawa you definitely got some good pricing not greatest pricing but for what what pricing that's out there on the market today it's not too bad now what impressed me was the 4070 ti at 660 bucks used as long as it's not hammered or you know basically it wasn't abused or anything else that'd be a great deal for somebody for 660 bucks i myself would think about getting it for 660 dollars i'm kind of thinking about dipping into the honey pot and see if i can get me that for 660 bucks now unless you get it before i do then i'll congratulate you on getting it before i did so but yeah that's something i would think about you know jawa.gg they got some good prices out there we didn't check them all but you know maybe one day I can do a video on, you know, just going on the Jawa.gg and go through all their listings of their graphics cards and show you guys what, what's all that's cooking on there. But I wanted to give you the good idea of to go out there and have a look for yourself, you know, so that way you can see what's cooking over there. So hopefully you see all the great deals and you go over and see them. But do remember, they're, I'm, they're not sponsoring me, so neither is... Amazon, Newegg, neither is eBay or Micro Center. None of them are sponsoring me when I make this video. So this video I'm making on my own. So maybe someday they will sponsor me, especially Graphics Card Nightmares. Hopefully they will. It would be viable for them to you know get the word out about what they got for sale in their stores. So, go from there. But, I will tell you this. There was, there was a couple nightmares in, there, in here today, this morning. I'm going to say this morning because right now we're at, we're at the end of the video and it's getting close to 8 o'clock in the morning. Just to let you know. So, 
And it's going to take probably till about 9, 9.30 before y'all are going to see this anyway. So, But anyway, we're not going to make it a too long video. I want to tell y'all the new addition I made and I'm adding on to um, Graphics Card Nightmares. I've added on Jawa.gg. Hopefully they don't mind and hopefully they don't get upset with me for advertising them, you know. It all depends. Some some companies get upset when you advertise them on your site, you know, for everybody to go to their site, you know. I don't put links in my description box for the simple fact everybody can type it in and just go there. So this way y'all don't think that I get affiliate links to, you know, to help support the channel to go over to there. Okay, I want to make that clear. None of them want, you know, none of them gave me a shot to do affiliate links yet. And plus, with us not being monetized, we can't do affiliate links on YouTube just yet anyway. That's a part of the rules. that You can't do affiliate links. You can't, you know, advertise a store. You can't do any kind of marketing on your channel until you become monetized. And that's why I push hard to get monetized, not just because of the marketing point of view. I'm not doing it just for the marketing. I'm doing it to help support the channel and getting new items, like getting an AM5 series motherboards and moving up to the AM5 series, or getting a new graphics card that just come out and stuff like that. The money that anybody spends on this channel, you know, I want you to get something back. Like if you buy a hoodie or something like that, and then we get a percentage, and that goes towards buying stuff, you know, PC parts and stuff for the channel. It does nothing to, to and I'm going to tell you this, it does, I'm doing absolutely nothing to support my pocket my time on this on this channel is I'm donating my time on this channel. I'm making absolutely no money off of this. Whatever money is being made, it goes into back into the channel. So th there's absolutely no money I make off of this whatsoever. That's as transparent as anybody can get with you, just to let you know that. So any money that's spent goes right into the channel. I have absolutely, and I've made absolutely no money to support myself for the channel. My, t my time is donated. So I hope you all understand that. My time is donated to the channel. And as much as I try to do, and I'm on my own doing this, I do what I can to make the best out of the worst situations. So, and maybe someday when we do get monetized, hopefully it'll be sooner than later, that you all will see that all of this hard work that I'm doing is paying off. And just because if I hire, now understand this, in order for me to bring somebody in, I have to hire them. In order for me to bring somebody in, I have to pay them. They don't donate their time like I do. And understand that. Nobody in their right mind in this world will ever donate just their time to support a channel. There's nothing free in the world, okay? The only thing that makes this channel free as it can be right now is because, one, it's not monetized, and two, because it's my time being donated for free. So, and do remember, I, when I spend an hour on every video a day, sometimes I might miss one day or two, you know, but that's because of personal reasons. And I do apologize for that. But I try to stay consistent. I'm one video a day for seven days a week. 
I really do, but sometimes I can't help it. And that's the reason why also, too, I got the mobile channel. I'm spending these, this couple extra minutes with y'all explaining what's going on on this channel. Okay, now I got JJPB Mobile Tech, which if you go into on the main page for JJ's PC Builds down towards the bottom, you'll see that I've linked my mobile channel, the mobile tech channel, you know, point you in that direction over there. So, and also too, I put it on the description in the video as well. So it'll link you to that channel as well. I did add, add new Instagram. I'm still with Patreon. I'm still, I'm, and understand this. I feel right now, the channel is not where it needs to be in order to have patrons. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think the channel is where it needs to be when, you know, for, to have a patron, you know, to start doing stuff over there on Patreon, like everybody else does, but. They got millions of subscribers. I don't. And I'm just, I'm still a new channel. Even though I'm over a year old, I'm still a new channel. And I'm still struggling like all the new channels are. But some of them give up, but I won't give up. And I'm going to tell you all that. I'm not a quitter. I haven't quit nothing, anything in my life. I'm not going to quit this. I'm going to be doing this till the day I die. So y'all are going to see my face day in, day out until the day I die. Or I get Alzheimer's. Then I can't figure out what I'm doing then. And then y'all are going to be missing out on the good things. So just kidding. We're, we're going to do the best we can. So. And this completes the if you made it this far to the end and i do appreciate it and if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe and if you've already subscribed welcome to the family welcome to jj's pc builds and my veteran subscribers as always for watching videos from beginning to end and telling your friends to come over here to subscribe and watch the videos from beginning to end help support the channel and y'all are awesome for doing that it's much appreciated. Really, it is. It helps us grow, and it helps us get towards the 1,000 mark of subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours we need to make it to the end. Which, I have a reporting coming up soon to let you all know where we're standing with that. But I can tell you, I got uh, one new subscriber that did subscribe, and I want to welcome you to the family. I'm um, say I do notice you. I don't notice who came in, but I can tell you I got one new subscriber that did come in. And if you want to leave your name on this, uh, you know, in a comment down below, then do so. Let us know who you are. Who, who made the 294, the 294 mark? You can let you. You can even say I'm 294. Or if you're, you know, you're the 293 or whatever. If you're 300 or 400 or 500, you can let everybody know you're the next person that made it on JJ's PC Builds. And you can do it on the most recent video to let everybody know. So they're watching. Everybody's watching the comment sections, I can tell you. So, best to do it on the most recent video. This way, you can let everybody know you're the next person. And then we can congratulate you and, you know, announce you and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it works out for the best. But anyway, until the next time in the next video, this is JJ on JJ's PC Belts. We will see you on the next one.